How come none of y'all told me about Prison Break on Netflix? I just started watching it, man. That shit is dope. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at you guys with a brand new pickup video. It seems like you guys liked the last one. So this one is going to be based on my early birthday pickups. My birthday's coming up soon, it's June 20th. And for all of you that are curious, I will be turning 19. So this is all the stuff I decided to pick up for a little birthday celebration to treat myself. But before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know that tomorrow I will be at Blocks Evolution at Pier 70 in San Francisco. So if you guys are in the area, make sure to stop by and say what's up if you see me around. Starting off with the pickups, I have a green and white snapback right here that says Don's. This one's from Cousins Brand. Really clean, really simple, and it completes this fit right here, so I might as well just throw it on real quick for you guys. Backwards look, and then I have the black and white look right here on the same kind of Don's logo right there. All right, so I picked up a few jerseys. First one being the NY Don's jersey in that black and orange. I always like wearing these jerseys because they are so breathable, comfortable, and they don't feel hot when you wear it, especially when you're in that Cali weather. Like a couple days ago, it was like almost 100 degrees over here. When you throw a jersey on, you're not gonna be sweating or anything like that. So next one is going to be the red and kind of white and gray, light gray. Look, it says squad right there. Red is one of my favorite colors, so I had to pick this one up. It's that Chief Rock. And then we have the NY Don's Gambino jersey right here in that navy blue and light gray look. Really clean, and it says Gambino with the three on the back. If you want to pick any of these items up, make sure to go ahead and check the link down below in the description, and also use my rep code SINTB to get 30% off everything on the site and make sure to take advantage of the deals on the jerseys because they did get marked down to $39 and you can get an extra 30% off. So my code will be active for this weekend only. Make sure you get it in. I will put all of the details down below as always. So let's get right to the next pickup. It's getting a little hot in my room so I'm going to try getting through this. But we have a pair of sunglasses from Gucci. As you can see, it's always going to focus on my face if I'm in it. So. We got the authenticity card right here. I got this at the Gucci store at Santana Row. So there you go with the Gucci case. Anyways, you don't care about that. These are the glasses that I freaking love. I love these glasses right here. Um, I got rid of mine before, the ones that I used to have, because I left them in the sun and I guess it just straight up demolished the plastic. It expanded it and when I when I put it on the table like this, one leg was just like straight up, just up like that, and the other one was touching. Now that always bothers me, so I got a new pair right now, and they're both even, so it's all good. And these are the Gucci glasses that I got. Like I said, one of my favorite glasses ever. So they have that nice red and green stripe, the classic Gucci look. And you can see the reflection from the light boxes in my room. So there you go. This kind of reminds me of like an Easy E kind of look, but it has that nice Gucci designer look as well. So this is super dope. They're polarized too, in case you guys are wondering. I don't know the name of these, but yeah, I got these. I got a ton of shoe pickups, but before we get to that, I'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff I got from Angelus Direct. I got a whole bunch of mixing jars. I got some gold aglets for those Roshis that my girlfriend helped me unbox. So I'm going to be doing a custom on those. They came with the glue. I also got some Duller. Boom. Mother freaking gray paint right here. Mother freaking mist paint right here. I think this is good for them shadows. It might be too light. I'm not sure. I'm going to test that out. And more mixing jars. I told you guys it was hot in my room, but we're about to break some heat out. So get ready. Get your drinks. Get a nice cold cup of water, cup of anything. We're going to get this cracking. So. First pickup is going to be the Adidas Superstars. Just a classic Run DMC kind of look with the white, black, and gold hits. This is a very, very clean shoe. Can't go wrong with these. So I got these from Urban Outfitters, I believe, and they completely damaged the box. And I posted it on Twitter. If you guys are following me on Twitter, at Barrier Shoehead, you know what I'm talking about. Moving into the Jordans. I've been on a hunt for the older Jordans. So that's kind of what this pickup video was themed. 
as I guess as far as the shoes go so first thing is these 2001 bread 11s a super clean pair the bottoms don't even look dirty um, I got these for a super good price I think I picked up all of these shoes for under 250 each I want to say under 250 each I don't know the exact prices but I got these 2001 bread 11s OG box came with a retro card super dope shoe and I picked these up because the new ones are going for like 260 and I saw these and they were like I want to say they were like 220 but I'd rather get a pair from 01 compared to the ones I released recently next up this is pretty dope I got a pair of 1999 Oreo 4s that were already soul swapped from Vic Almighty the dude that's part of Air Legends and he did a great job on this pair right here I was like I might as well get it because it's wearable it's from 1999 awesome quality on the leather it's just straight up sauce it's just so soft you could peep that out just see how soft it is I purchased the one that released recently and I sold it because I got these and the quality just comparing it the way that it felt it's not the same this one is way softer and he did an awesome job on that sole swap so yeah check it out 1999 Air Jordan Oreo 4s next up for the pickups we have a pair of Bordeaux 7s that were worn one or two times probably probably around two times so you could go ahead and check it out it's a very very clean pair um, this freaking thing keeps focusing on my face dude there you go you can see it they're retroing these with the black midsole I believe I like this look a lot better that's just me let me know what you guys think in the comments down below ah Stop focusing on my face. I used to have a pair back in the day that was dead stock and I sold them for $200. I don't know what I was thinking back in the day. I think I was trying to buy something. I was on the hunt for something, but I had to get the money. So I sold it for 200. I don't know what I was thinking, but it did hurt a little bit. But now I got my stuff back. I re-upped on it. So there you go. The Bordeaux sevens, two more shoes left. What do you guys think? Boom. We have a pair of the Varsity Red 6s that released a while back. I think 2010 is when they released. 2009, it says on the tag, 2009, 2010. But I remember when I was in eighth grade, I saw this pair. This pair along with the Black Cement 3s is what got me into the Jordans. So I saw this pair and I was like, dude, those are fire. Where can I get them? Since I was a beginning sneakerhead, I didn't know where to look for shoes. The first place that popped up was Flight Club. Now these were going for five, six hundred dollars back in the day, and I was like, bro, I'm in eighth grade. I'm not gonna get those. I could keep dreaming, but that's too much to pay for a pair of shoes. I was able to find them for a good price in great condition. A little lemonade on the outsoles, but it's all good. And it feels good to have something that I wanted back in the day when I couldn't have it. I know it sounds cliche, but if you're patient and you work your way up, you can get whatever you want. So this shoe right here means a lot to me just because I couldn't have it and now I do. And this is the exact pair that I wanted. The last shoe I'm going to be showing you guys is coming in from my boy Adrian. He hit me up and he was like, hey, I know you're a size 9.5, 10 and I have this pair right here. And I'm not sure if you want it, but if you do, just let me know. And I appreciate you for hitting me up because I did want this pair, so I copped it. That's what it was. He sold me his 1994 White Cement 3s with the donors included, and he already separated everything. He did a lot of the work already. He took off the crumbly midsole. He prepped everything, as you can see. He took the donors off. So everything is pretty much ready to go after I strip and paint these midsoles. All I need to do is just glue them. So there you go, you see it right there, 1994, white cement threes. I'll show you the other side real quick. But yeah, this is my second pair right here. I do have a couple more shoes coming in the mail, but I don't think they're going to get here today, so I'm just going to drop this video. I'm really excited to see how this soul swap goes. Of course, I'll make a video on it like I usually do. I did pick up this album right here, so if you guys want to know what it is, it's Run DMC, Raising Hell. This is one of the albums that dropped a long, long time ago, but it is a classic. So I do like buying my music. Um, as long as I like what these people are doing, I'm down to support. So that's what I picked up as far as music. I do want a whole bunch of other albums, 
but this is what I got. <laughs> um, one more thing I want to show you is this right here. A pair of the Bread Laser One Customs. Now I picked up a ton of the black laces on lacelab.com. I will leave that in the description too. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and check out that site and get 15% off all orders till the end of June with the code SINTB. If you guys pick anything up, Feel free to share it with me on Twitter with a tweet. I will retweet it, and I do like to see what my viewers pick up from these sites. So lacelab.com, cousinsbrand.com, anything, and show me the deals that you got. I'm just curious to see what you guys are picking up. So here goes the Bread Laser One Customs. I finished this shoe, and if you guys are wondering where the laces are, like I said, lacelab.com, that's where you get these laces. These are the 54 inch laces. What do you guys think about this custom though? What do you guys think about this custom though? I think they came out pretty clean, so shout out to my man Javier for giving me this job. I do have a ton of laser orders to get to, but the next custom video will probably be on the frags that I'm doing for myself. I mean, I got a ton of videos coming out. Make sure to stay tuned. We're at 140,000 subs. You guys are freaking crazy. You guys are awesome. My voice is getting a little raspy, so I should probably cut this soon before I lose my voice. I kind of need it for tomorrow. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next video. Thank you for supporting as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. It's Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace.